In tourism and hospitality, the workforce is such a critical and intimate part of the relationship between the provider and the consumer that the sustainable workforce is the way that the business is going to thrive and our industry is going to grow. We're short about 880,000 people in our industry. We have to look at how do we attract people into work, what is attractive to people, how do they feel empowered in their work, how are they engaged in their work, and what drives their sense of organizational commitment. At the end of the day, if we can attract more people and then we can reduce people's intention to leave, we've created this nexus where our labor force will grow to meet the demands of our customers. By sustainability, I absolutely mean making sure that we have enough workers to serve our guests today, but also to serve our guests in the future. We don't want to be consuming our labor resources today in such a way that they're not going to be around tomorrow. They don't want to stay with us. They don't want to be with us. We want them to stay with us for as long as possible, and more importantly because tourism and hospitality is one of the largest employers in Canada, we want to be attracting people from other labour pools into our environment to find work that is meaningful for them. The hospitality industry is, is an interesting industry because it's different than most other jobs. It's not a transactional business, it's a transformational business. People who work in hospitality find that they love hospitality. Some of the research that I've been doing recently, when I ask people why do they love hospitality, we bring up the term resonance. People find that they resonate with this industry very closely. It's what draws them in. They feel a fit. And I ask what that fit is about, and they say it's the people. As a researcher, I got very interested about the people side of this industry when I was working, and I would scratch my head wondering, what is driving these individuals working here at this hotel, at this restaurant, what is driving them to do such an amazing job? Maybe in the middle of winter time and you're working in a resort hotel, and you only get one or two shifts a week, but you come in and you work really hard and you provide the best service for that guest for those one or two shifts a week. What's driving you to do that? Maybe you like skiing. And now I can motivate you to do a better job in your service by connecting your service to your passion, which is skiing in the mountains. I love stories and every guest comes and tells a story.